from Angel Stadium in Anaheim. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. Getting the nod on the mound, Reed Detmers. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So you know, look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Schwarber. Pitch misses there. 1 and 0. Oh. Right Ooh. through there for a strike. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man on base to start the inning. Here's Trey Turner. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch, not close. Schwarber on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering way upstairs. He hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. And now here is Harper. Just missed. And a pitch. Ball inside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. No outs. Runners at first and second. That's ripped into the outfield. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Adele quickly gets it back in. And the go-ahead run stops at third base. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now it's Alec Bohm. Golden opportunity right here. First pitch misses. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Hard ground ball, base now. One runs in. The second run scores, and they take a two-run lead. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, no outs. And now for the Phillies, JT Real Muto. Yeah. And strike one to the catcher. No ball, one strike.
Ball oh. one there. That catches the corner. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Tap softly to the right side. The throw to second. Back to first. Not in time. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. See, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Left field. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and they're up by three. No, that's the third run of the inning, and this team is doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And there's a foul ball. He'll one. One one. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. And a pitch. And that one sliced foul. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Phillies three, and the Angels coming up. Back here at Angel Stadium, and on the mound in this one, Taiwan Walker. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and, and you have to go out there and attack angels. and try to get that W. Well, and if you do that, you'll look well, up, and most likely that ERA well. will have dropped over time. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Mike Trout stands in now and watches strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. One more. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here comes a pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Stott over to first in time. One gone, bottom half of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits. And Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the home first that moving along good. quickly today. Two you. gone. Taylor. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. And that one fouled off. And he'll one. Foul ball.
two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail it here, three nothing. Back in Anaheim, this is Bryson Stott. The second baseman, Bryson Stott. As the lefty gets to work. Just missed. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the One first, ball. got hit no around strike. a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. In the air to left center, Ward sizing it up. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to her strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Johan Rojas in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Base is empty one away. Here at the top of the second. On its way to the corner. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Lifted in the air, right field. Adele moves under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now that designated hitter, Kyle. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Singled and scored his first time. Hard hit, right side. And the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies, but they lead it 3 0. We head to the bottom Brandon of the second. Off. Brandon Drury to the plate. The second baseman, Brandon Drury. Walker back to work. Ball. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. One one a 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Righty to the plate. Up the middle. And that chance handled. Now a jump throw. Yeah. Not in time, and he reaches safely. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Here's Aaron Hicks. Ball. 
Pitch is in there, and that's strike one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. At the belt and fires. That's a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three-pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 on two pitches he didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect, it expands just out of the zone where he couldn't do anything with it. He gets the strike out and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. Grounder might be two. Stop. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Here's Joe Adele. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. That one in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Bohapi leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Castellanos going back to the warning track, makes the catch. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Phillies three and the Angels nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third the inning and the batter will be the shortstop. Trey Turner. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these Phils doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The ball shortstop one. takes a ball. One ball, two strikes. No. Just missed. Two balls, two strikes. Comes a 2-2. Two -two. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he held up. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Harper now. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Wouldn't chase that time. 
Nobody out. Runner at first. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two one now. And that's in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. He drove in two with a single his first time up. Pitch out, but no action. And a pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Ward drifts towards it. Ward pulls that one down. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto, having a lot more success on the road this season. Turner runs in the dirt, but kept close. Blocked by the catcher, and he steals second base without a throw. Two outs, and one in scoring position. He swings and fouls one off. That one missed. Two one. Right through there for a strike. Oh. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Philly strand one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Luis Rangifo. And here comes. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. And that one ripped into right, and that's just foul. Next offering is outside. Pitch is in for a strike, and out to a two. Stays alive. Into the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. He keeps it down. It's just so tough to put wood on. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shanowell. There's a strike. And the right hander deals. Just missed. The Angels trailing by three here in the last half of the third. 
on the ground to the left and foul ball. The one two. And another ball. Two two. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. And now batting Mike Trout. Grounded out his first time. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two out spaces empty. And that's off the inside edge. And now 2-0. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, strike one. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. They say you win. Two balls, two strikes. This one in the air. Settles under it. And that ends the inning. Angels go quietly there. Still down 3 0. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Brandon Marsh. Detmers back to work. That's inside. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. The lefty fires. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Ah. Castellanos batting with one down takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Popped up. Grabs it on the run. Two down. The batter number five. Second base. Bryson. Two outs, bases empty. Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. Fly to left his first time. Ha! Swings through that one for strike one. No ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Gets him to chase after that one. But this started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next offering upstairs. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat.
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they lead it three nothing. Bottom four. Here's the shortstop at the play, Zach Neto. Not shortstop. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. one ball. Really close no pitch strike. down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And the righty deals. That's to third. One out in the bottom he's of the fourth. Out. Couple of pitches and a quick no out. Field. Number three, Taylor. Taylor Ward getting ready to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. And there's the strike. Bases empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Into left center for a base hit. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. So now it's the four hole hitter, Brandon Drury. Over to first, and he's safe. I think you want to get a one way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter, not a power guy. So you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead no. and perhaps score a ball oh, in the no. gap. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Falling behind two and one. Ward leads off first with one away. That one misses. And now three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Kicks and deals. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Kicks and fires. And a base hit. They get it in quickly. So, first and second, now one out. Now batting, center fielder, Aaron. It's Aaron Hicks now. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And yeah, that's outside. Tying run at the plate. Outside. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And he deals. Three Swings balls. and misses. Strike Three one. Balls. Inside oh, just missed. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Logan Ohapi waits on deck. And now it's filled up. Runners at first and second with one gone. Two on, one out. And the tying run is on base. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. Oh. 
right through there for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. And the pitch. That one drilled left field. Drops into the glove. Here comes the runner from third. The throw is offline. He's safe. Now down by two. It's 3-1. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. Here's the Angels pinch runner, Mickey Moniak. So first and second with two outs. Joe Adele digs in now. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Ball, Next go. offering is down low. So the tying run at second. Pitch misses inside. And it's 3 0. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Two on, two outs. And a base hit. Runner around third. The throw home. Safe. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing and there he doesn't try to do too much. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And downstairs. And the 1 0. Right through there for a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Hit hard on the ground to short. Off balance yeah. throw in time. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. They put two on the board, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Phillies three and the Angels two. So coming into the game now on defense, A. Ray Adrianza. He'll play second. Well, one run Big game and digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. He's over one. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. Comes up empty. That's strike two. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. That's down and in. Strikeout. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Shot. 
Schwarber, the next to hit, takes outside. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And that one is inside. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. One out, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. They got it for out number two. The back, number seven. Short one. Trey Turner. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Turner now. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Uh -huh. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Jose Alvarado. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Leading off, Nolan Shonwell. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a pitch. Inside, just missed. And fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fall off foul. Next pitch misses. Now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Mike Trout on deck for the Angels. Three two now. He walked in. And that will keep things going. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Trout up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. No strikes. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And there's one down. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. That's in there. That's strike one. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Next one is off the play, and the count is one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And here it comes. Got him swinging. So it's their last chance in this one. And next for the Angels, Taylor Ward, one for two. There's the strike. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Close, but called a ball. And now it's even one and one. Just missed. Next pitch is inside, and it got us three and one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Outside, and that is ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. First and second, two outs. And now it's going to be A. Ray Adrianza. And a base hit right there. And now two aboard. The winning run is on base. To the plate, and he's out. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Sometimes games come down to this. You've got to press the issue. Try to get that run across and tie it up. But an excellent throw. Nice job of concentration putting the tag on the runner. Exciting finish to this game today.